London? Rain, rain, rain. It's so depressing. What was your name? Who's that? Oh. Here you are, Dr. Baird. The information packet for your convention. All the events of the three days. I'll show you to your room. How many times do I have to tell you, Vera? She was a patient. If I told you her name, I'd be breaking the psychiatric code of confidentiality. Don't throw codes at me. You've committed adultery and had sex with the patient. Now what was her goddamn name? Is there no end to this madness? I can't tell you. I always feel more comfortable if I can actually see my luggage. Don't worry, sir. Everything's taken care of. I'm sure. Give me her first name. No. Then give me the first initial of her first name. This is so mature. Then give me one letter in her first name. Aren't I entitled to that? E. Drop it. E. He doesn't tell me anything. I need a consonant. Yeah, sir. You've got sex with a patient. You're talking about privacy? Privacy. Well, that's entirely up to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is worth how much in America? That's about $1.50, sir. I'll have to work this out. George. George. Yeah. George. What? I've had an affair, too. Vera, that is so sad. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm trained to see through these ego defenses. You're hurt and you're striking back. It's all right. I understand. George, look at me. I've had an affair for the last year and a half. Who is he? I can't tell you. Why? He's a friend of yours. <sighs> Vera. No friend of mine would ever sleep with you, because if he did, I would kill him. Now tell me you're lying. I'm lying. Maitland? Who's Maitland? Forget Maitland. 